Hi folks, uh, there is a mythology that has been going around rural areas for years. It's about solar power every single time you bring it up. They always say, and this is always the line, uh, how do you get solar power at night? These are the same people that have cell phones and know that the things have batteries and they run on power. And they are getting their feeds now from Starlink and every place else. They're all getting the 5G because that's what we have up here now. It's, you know, better bandwidth. Uh, and they just cannot seem to get it through their heads that what you need for solar is batteries. And if you don't have batter too many batteries or you don't have enough batteries, just get a couple more batteries. And if you don't have enough solar panels, get a couple more solar panels. And the whole problem is this, you always get the argument of, oh, it's so expensive. No, they do not cost thousands of dollars. That comes from the installation costs. Um, and as far, oh, what if I have to replace it? Well, you replace the carburetor in your car all the time, don't you? Uh, it's the same thing. And the thing about uh, solar is it's not going to zap you to death, the same as those power pushed electricity up from the dams. Um, because it's just not made that way and anybody can learn to use it and we need to be addressing the state allowances for who gets to do it up here and we need to be solarizing neighborhoods that are connected to each other with the solar panels on the roofs of the houses, uh, the houses within the neighborhood. I'm in Slip Point and I might as well be 20 miles away from any downtown area because it's just one of those isolated neighborhoods. And they're talking up here that for emergency, oh, get this, they want to put in, or they're looking at a California system, which has got to be Orange County, about putting in um, gas generators or gasoline generators, yeah, diesel generators for emergencies, <laughs> when they don't understand that's for an emergency situation. And in the case of the big uh, earthquake, um, any kind of stored diesel is just going to, you're going to have it all on the ground, <laughs> so it's just going to go to pieces. Uh, solar, you might get some broken glass and some torn wires. You can always fix that. That's not a problem. It can be disconnected and reconnected. And the thing about solar is you can put the solar in and run it all the time. You don't have to worry about emergencies. And you always, oh, it's so expensive to replace with solar. And that every year they're out there putting up power poles and running the wires and having slides and having to replace it over and over and over and over and over again. And they are, they can't seem to understand that these are single injection systems that are there that can be fixed in bits when they need it, that anybody up here can learn how to do it, that you do not connect it to the grid. You have mini grids. And if there are houses that need it, you make sure those houses are solarized. We got the, the Misty Willows campground that can show you how to do that. In fact, I'm going to talk to them about having a little solar uh, teaching up here, and I've had a, um, a woodcutter say, can you make a living at solar? Oh, buddy, of course you can. Everybody up here can make a living at solar. And you could have solar heat, you could have solar hot water, everything. And everybody's going, but we only have eight hours in the winter of sunshine, so put in a couple more batteries and a few more solar panels. And if you've got a situation where the snow comes in on top of the solar panels, which is going to be kind of rare, uh, we're going to have to deal with systems that work to figure out how that works. Maybe you put the panels up steeper. Maybe you have a way to crank them up and down. I don't know. Uh, you put a man on the moon, people. You should be able to fix the solar problem up in the West End. Um, anyway, there's a whole bunch of other things that have to be said. But I'm really thinking about getting together with, you know, the various organizations, whatever. Stop thinking 19th century. Stop thinking diesel. Stop thinking mechanical. It is the 21st century. You're on cell phones. You have batteries. Even the PUD is telling people to get solar batteries for the cell phones. And that can work for your whole house. Although if you're going to do your whole house, instead of trying to solarize the entire house, you solarize your appliances. And uh, as far as your lamps are concerned, just get some little solar lamps. You, yeah, and you can just hang them any place you want. Um, and you can carry them around with you. And you don't have to ever worry about them because they run for hours. Um, you're just making life more, more complicated for yourself. But I don't know why people are still believing this malarkey. I can only assume that people who sell diesel and the antique cars, you know, the ones that are not electric, uh, are afraid of losing your jo their jobs. People, just get retrained. Get reschooled. Uh, get the funding to do this. And um, have it hooked up. Start with the food bank. 
Start with, yeah, I know, we got a local church that wants to have the church uh, built, but it does actually act as a charity. So I'm not so pissed at it about, you know, not paying its taxes, because even though it's actually a business, I mean, all churches are businesses. I'm in the comic book industry. I sell imaginary stuff, too. But you've got, um, I'd be perfectly happy to, if they're going to, if they're going to buy or fix this church, um, put the solar panels up on it, teach people how to do it, have the classes there, show people how to do it. They can do it. They're not stupid. They can run electricity and you're not going to die because you're not going to have these big power drives up from Bonneville and Bonneville can stop blackmailing us every damn time the power goes out and making people sit around for two or three days until they can get a driver up here. It's nonsense. And you just have to be independent of all that. And let's face it, people, do you really want to be coming to the emergency with these rickety old stinky, what will in the long run be more expensive antique systems? Or do you want to finally get your stuff together and at least be advanced as a German farm?